I love you. Cyrus Salazar Jr. CJ, 17 of Brandywine, Maryland, passed away on Tuesday, December 5th, 2023, at University of Maryland Medical Center in Baltimore. Cyrus is a believer in Jesus Christ and attended South Potomac Church. He was born four weeks early. He was supposed to be a Christmas baby, but decided to make his debut for Thanksgiving instead. <laughs> born November 26, 2006 in Arlington, Virginia, he was the easiest laid back baby. He had a contagious smile from the very beginning. His eyes were always beaming with joy. His demeanor was easy and outgoing. People were always drawn to him, even at a young age. He was coordinated and excelled at every sport he tried. As a toddler, he did karate, basketball, t-ball, swim, soccer. And as he grew, he played baseball and basketball, but he was drawn to soccer and swim. He also excelled in playing the piano and continually play, even when his father was teleworking. <laughs> he dedicated eight years to Taekwondo and earned his second degree black belt alongside Kira and Christian. He enjoyed being big brother to his five younger siblings and my five younger siblings. He always had a smile or a treat for them, always the life of the party, willing to dance or crack jokes, read to them, watch cartoons and color, play Barbies, Legos, or puzzles. He was their constant. He gave the best hugs. <laughs> And I will, um, and always said, I love you. He took part in the girls' makeovers, and he let them paint his nails. CJ, I just want you to know that Kylie painted my dad's nails like a week ago. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I can imagine her painting your nails. Even in the hospital, the medical team commented on his cute pink toenails. He spent his summers between soccer and Smallwood Village Swim Club and on the Marlin swim team. He also became a lifeguard this year and even earned his pool operator's license. During the school year, he swam for ASTS and he played for his FCC travel soccer travel club soccer team and made time for high school soccer at Southern Maryland Christian Academy. He referred both outdoor, he refereed both outdoor soccer and indoor futsal when he had time. During the winter, he played futsal and refereed games, effectually being at the Southern Maryland sports plex for the entire day. He loved coaching my kids as he called them. He assisted coaching the U10 and U8 boys had a special place in his heart. He loved teaching the junior Marlins to swim. He loved kids and always commented how he could not wait to be a dad. He would have been the best dad. He was dual enrolled at the College of Southern Maryland and loved his communication class. His final presentation was going to be about Mama Becca. <laughs> CJ was the best um, big brother and loved his siblings, parents, friends, and family well. He was a leader on and off the pitch, court, and pool. Cyrus shined brightly. Um, excuse me if I butcher any of any of these names. In addition to his parents, Cyrus and Rebecca, Cyrus is survived by his siblings, Kira, Christian, Kiana, Kyla, and Kylie, maternal grandparents, Conce and 
Shirley, paternal grandparents David and Mary, also survived by numerous aunts, uncles, to include Margarita, Selena, Gonce III, Nino Matthew, Nina Crystal, Daniel, Chris, Autumn, D, cousins and other relatives and friends. And just really quick, um, I'm gonna read a letter uh, I wrote him about a week ago. Unreal. This cannot be real. I feel numb. I feel helpless and I wish it was me. The amount of the amount of times I've replayed December 4th into December 5th in my head. Every night I see your face. I see the swelling and the blood that took over your body in the hospital. I see Mama Becca sigh and Kira crying out to you, begging you to wake up. I hear my 17-year-old brother wailing like I've never heard before. Um, I see your broken wrist that I held for the last time. I see your lifeless body that I hugged for the last time. Thank you, CJ, for all the laughs. <laughs> Thank you for making silly TikToks with me. <laughs> Thank you for being one of my annoying yet sweet and loving little brothers. I miss you, your smile, and you and Z's goofiness together. But most importantly, I miss that feeling of being understood. You understood the responsibility we each had as being the oldest in our families of six. You understood how I didn't feel like I was good enough for them, yet you reminded me that I was. I love you, CJ. 819 will forever be a part of me. You will forever be a part of me. Long live CJ.